I've just been in rehearsal now and talking to the to today's ones about, you know, not only do we is it important to show the masculinity, the strength, the beauty, but also the vulnerability as well, um, because when animals come face to face with humans, there's always a kind of tentativeness. And that, I think, especially in Act Two of, of, the, of the show, needs to, needs to be um, shown quite a lot. So the kind of head under the arm is all to do with, is kind of a, a protection, you're protecting yourself. All of those kind of swan arms are all about the swan protecting themselves. And it's only when they open up that they, they allow, you know, something or someone to come close to them. So that was kind of our thinking at the time. And, and yeah, just to say, who knew it was going to be <laughs> the success it was. When we first premiered Swan Lake at Sadler's Wells, it was quite shocking because in the first sort of 20 minutes, there were people who were standing up and leaving. And I remember watching it going, oh my God, is this going to be okay? The attention went much more on male swans because it was such an iconic image for people, the female dancing swan. To have a male dancing swan was very unexpected. People couldn't imagine what it was going to look like. When we first started to do it, we had walkouts with the pr prince and swan dancing together. But we had a, a slightly aggressive uh, attitude towards it from some members of the audience and some uh, people refused to come and see it. It got dubbed the gay swan lake, which was, in some ways was not what the aim was, but it certainly was a story within that 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 was very meaningful for, for gay audiences. And I, I celebrate that still, I did then and I do now. It was such a shock for audiences that they didn't know what they were seeing initially. And then once they'd got into it and they started to see more and more of Act Two and more of the Swans, they became um, excited by it. By the end, uh, and the end is so extraordinary and dramatic, the audience literally stood up and started clapping and I remember sitting there and thinking oh my goodness this is extraordinary absolutely extraordinary and it was then when I realized that the show was going to have a massive impact. I think it was quite a while a good few years after we after we opened um, that it became suggested that you know that, that the, the role was was influencing boys to take up dancing. The fact that the show is still going on now and, and people can take their young boys to see a show like this, which represents male dancing in such a strong way, I think is brilliant. It still seems to inspire people, still seems to move people. And therefore we, we get excited about doing it because that's what we're here for, to entertain.